Hello, hello. So back for a, another, um, well, bi-monthly book review. Um, and this month, or these past two months, we were reading this one. Um, I don't know if this is showing up backwards or not, I can't tell. Um, but I did it on Kindle, so I haven't got the actual book to show you guys. Uh, so it was How to Move It, Reset Your Body by Jocelyn Thompson Rule. Uh, so as someone who's worked in the health and fitness industry for a long time, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got a certain nutrition qualification, I've got a PT qualification, um, and I used to have my own studio in central London near Waterloo, and so I'm always a bit like, oh, another fitness book. Um, but I was actually really impressed with this one. I feel like the, um, the author tackled it in a way that I've not really seen done before, and I really liked the approach. I thought it was realistic for lots of different levels and interesting for lots of different levels, doesn't matter where you are in your fitness journey or your health journey, um, that it had relevance. I thought that was really helpful. Um, I really liked how they uh, structured the book. Um, I thought it was a really interesting read and it also wasn't too long. I'm like, I'm trying to remember how many pages it was. Um, 166 page only 166 pages so it's nice and short we like that um yeah that's very short 166 pages um I did get through it quite quickly it's part of a series there's a few other ones and um, they have this similar sort of graphic to the front uh there's a business build one there's like a mindset one there's a social, like for building your online presence. I think there's a how to write it, how to write a book one. Um, so I definitely go and look at the other ones as well. Um, I think it's from Penguin. I think they're a series from Penguin. Um, but I, I was generally really impressed. Yeah, I liked, it was a fun read. It was an interesting read. There was a story to it as opposed to it just being a, a flat out self-development. I really like when they integrate stories into helping you understand the message and what they want to portray to you. I always think that that's a lot more interesting um, than just flat out being like, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, I always find that that's much more engaging, uh, particularly as we are all so different and the, there isn't going to be one book that's going to have the perfect approach for everyone. So if you can make it a bit more entertaining by there being a story, that is always going to help. Um, so I definitely found that that it was still enjoyable, even though there was a lot of information that she was telling me that I already knew as someone that's worked in the industry. Uh, it was still an interesting read, so it was still worthwhile reading, which is always super helpful. Um, so this is quite a quick review for me. I think um, basically anyone of any level would find enjoyment reading it. It's not too long a read, so um, it's not going to take too much of your time away. Um, I did it on Kindle, um, so it's nice and easy. I think it was a couple of quid on Kindle. Um, I always find with my Kindle, so I keep my book wish list on Amazon, whether I'm going to get it on Amazon or not. If I'm going to get a physical book, I tend to go to the library. Um, there is a way, I think my Kindle's too old to do this, but some of the newer Kindles, you can take out library books on them. Uh, but I haven't managed to get mine to do that yet. I haven't managed to get it to work. Um, so maybe mine's too old a version, like you need an app or something. But uh, you can do it on tablet. If you've got a tablet or, or an iPad or something like that, often you can take out books from the library, digital versions there. I like to have mine on my Kindle where possible because it means I can turn the lights out in my bedroom and still read at night. My partner often goes to sleep before me. Um, and it means that we can get into bed and I can read my book. I like to read my book until I'm nodding off because otherwise my anxiety hits and my brain goes, oh, let's have a nice chat on my brain. And I'm like, no, I want to go to sleep. Whereas if I read to the point that my eyes go like this then and then put my Kindle down, it's a lot easier. Um, so for me, I find that quite a helpful part of my evening routine. So I try as much as I prefer taking out from the library. Um, the Kindle is a much more practical option for me. Um, and I keep all my book wish lists on Amazon, whether where, no matter where I'm getting them from, because it means when I get a, a book recommendation, I can go in, put it on there, have a look at the other reviews, the comments, um, like the synopsis for the book. There's usually like a way of seeing like the first couple of pages so you can read how the author speaks, like how they are telling their story or whatever it is um, and get a feel for it if you are going to like it and then save it onto your wish list if you want to have it and then uh, when I'm looking for a new book I will go through that list if any are reduced on Kindle I find that every now and again even like the 10.99 12.99 books on Kindle drop down to like 1.99 or 99p um, just to 
boost their sales and boost their listings and things so I just keep an eye out and every now and again I just go in there and check if there's any on there um, and if they're still really expensive then I will put them on reserve at the library instead um, so that's how I work my books so we have a new book um, I need to pull up my list because I've just gone completely blank on what the new book is going to be <laughs> next month um, so those of you in the um, if you go into the, what am I talking about? I'll go into the groups bit. Um, oh, I realise the app is slightly, I need to update that. Um, always good. I'm going through and doing sort of the updates for the next month on here. Um, and I have just set up all the live video clips for the September reset. So uh, eight live workshops uh, going on in the video section of the membership. Um, so make sure that you are, um, joining in for those or at least you can go back and read them so where are we july august we've just done oh looking forward to this one i'm gonna pronounce it really badly so the september october book is called dos tanging dos dos tad ninga dos tang dos dos tad ninga dos tag ing dos tang ning <laughs> the Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning by Margarita Mag... Mag... <laughs> Mag... Nusson. Magnusson. Margarita Magnusson. Magnusson. Sorry, Margarita. <laughs> Butchering that massively. Uh, so the DOS, it's D-O-S-T-A-D-N-I-N-G. And it's the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning. So if you just search the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning, and I will pop in the the review, like the picture, um, in the group, and um, so you can see what the front of the book cover looks like. Um, I think I've already downloaded mine on my Kindle, so that's ready to go. So we do one book every two months, so that will be the one there. And don't forget, you can record and upload your own video reviews if you like, or you can pop comments. It doesn't have to be when you finish the book, you can comment throughout the book. Um, and I know we'll get a bit more chat going on as the, the membership um, gets a bit bigger. I am away at the moment, so I've got my green screen with me, but the light in here, look, if I lean forward it changes the light. The light in here is not great so sorry for it being a bit like weird but um there isn't like a flat background anywhere here for me to do it again. <laughs> so that's another thing. I just need to stop moving I think. Maybe this. Oh no that doesn't make it any better. It doesn't make it any better. It's just a bit too dark I'm afraid so apologies for that but yes uh, really loved the last book. Um, very much looking forward to the Swedish death cleaning. Uh, it's about decluttering as opposed to cleaning as much. Um, I've looked into the concept before. Uh, so yes, I'm very excited about that one. Um, and I can't wait to share at the end of the two months how I've got on with it. But uh, make sure you are grabbing the book and reading along and joining in and sharing your thoughts. Um, uh, throughout the month throughout the two months like you don't have to wait to the end like I said um and I will be seeing you guys in the September reset live workshop I can't wait so that will be within the membership there is a new channel within the video section called the September reset I have re preset all the lives in there so you can see all the dates and times for them as well um there are various times throughout September starting on the 6th the last one is the 21st of September and they all are 7 p.m. UK time and um, so you can work out like the time difference but the the videos will save up there so you can go back to them and uh and rewatch them or watch them etc etc see what we're working our way through can't wait um they'll probably be about 20 minutes a video uh, might be longer depends how many people join and ask questions uh, while we're live and things like that and you know me sometimes I will talk for a long time and we'll go off on lots of extra tangents so part of the joy uh part of the joy of the happy lifestyle club um have an amazing day and i will see you soon that's half an hour